In this video, we take a look at how to create a Valentine's Day promo flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, you make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using in case you want to download and practice. Now, just in case you practice and you want to send it for review, you can hit me up on IG and then we can chat over there. With that said, let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. I'll be using Photoshop 2021 for this illustration, but any version of Photoshop will probably go with this. First things first, we are going to set a paper size and you can use any paper size at all. It's just a matter of the outcome that you want to get. So I'm going to use a 1920 by 1080 paper and then I'm going to set the resolution to 300. And when I'm done, I'm going to hit on create. If you are using the same size, you should have something like this in your Photoshop. We are going to start with the background creation. First off, we are going to add a gradient overlay. To do that, you're going to head over to the gradient adjustment layer here and then you can add a gradient. Now you go and click on the gradient bar and you can choose any gradient that you want. For the purpose of this video and for the sake of Valentine's, we are going to choose something that matches the season. So I'm going to choose this brownish red color and then the main red color and then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to head to the style and change this one to radial and I'm going to reverse it because I want the red in the middle. Now this doesn't look that very pleasing so I'm going to set the scale, I'm going to open it up a little bit like that, it depends on how you want it but you can make it go a bit further like this. So let's set this to about 210, I think this should be fine. And then we go ahead and we click OK. The next thing that we want to do is we go into our resource files and then we are going to import in the background elements. So you go to file place embedded and then you're going to place your first object so this is going to be a picture that i got from iStock so you're going to place it right over here and you're going to open it up to fill the entire canvas so something like that should be fine you go to the blend mode and then you're going to change this to soft light now that wait for this one so you go again to your place embedded and then you're going to bring the second file that we want to put in here so we are going to bring this subtle pattern here and then we are going to also make sure that it fills the entire canvas. You go to the blend mode and then you are going to set this also to multiply and then you can decrease the opacity a little bit. But we just want some patterns inside of the background and that will be it for this one as well. The next one is you are going to bring in the third background element and this is going to be a stylish hat. Okay, so you are going to open that as well and then we are going to right click rasterize this layer and then we are going to set that also to soft light but this looks very dark so let's decrease the opacity a little bit so i think around 49 the 40s thereabout should be fine once you have it like this this is going to be our background so you can group all of that and then you call it the background now let us just decrease the opacity for this one a little bit to around 20 and that should be fine now it is time to introduce the main thing that we are doing so we are creating this as a pizza flyer so we go into our resource again and then we are going to bring in the pizza for the pizzas i got you about three of them or let's say five of them so you can make use of any one of them that you want this one fits very well for me you might try a different one and let's see which one also works for you the reason why i chose this one is very simple it fits the very left corner and I have space on the right side to add all the information that I want to add. So I'm going to press Ctrl T and then I'm going to transform it a little so that I will have space on the right side to put my other information. So you can scale it down as much as you want. So you can scale it like this. I think it should be a little bit bigger like that and this should be fine. I'm going to right click over here and rasterize it so that I can add additional elements to it. First off, I'm going to add levels. So I'll press Ctrl L and I'm going to darken it a little bit as well as brighten it a little bit. This is just to add some kind of levels to it and you can see it over here. Afterwards, I'm going to click OK, press Ctrl U and then I can add saturation to it as well. 
once we have this in position we can then start to add our test and later on you can add the elements that is going to make this pizza look very delicious shall we go ahead so for our fonts we're going to make use of different type of fonts so you can choose any one of them that works well for you to start with we're going to pick our test tool and then we are going to hit over here to create our test the first font that we're going to use is called creation demo i'll leave links in the description to download them if you don't know how to download and install font i recently made a video and you might want to check that so our first test is going to be valentine's day and then we are going to press ctrl t to open it up like that you can take your time and position it anywhere that you want to position it i think the pizza is a bit bigger so let me just decrease it slightly like that okay so we have our valentine's day and then we're going to type another word that says big sale so we are doing this for a promotion flyer or a promotion banner okay so we pick our test tool again and then we are going to type big sale for this test we're going to make use of a font called bebas select bebas bold and going to press ctrl t to transform it as well and so for our next test we are going to put in this test hot fresh and delicious and i intentionally left the spaces in between them because we are going to put um dotted or a circle in them we can actually use the normal full stop so we are going to make use of the ellipse tool and that is why the spaces has to be a little bit bigger we are going to right click on it go to the blending options and then we can add an outer glow so we select our outer glow and then we are going to choose the color that we want so you can choose the color from here but make sure that you click on the outer glow one mistake that people make a lot is that if you want to add for instance a shadow and you turn on the shadow like this the shadow is turned on but if you don't click on the shadow to apply you are not going to have the effect so if you want to add an outer glow you first click on the outer glow to take like that and then you can click on the outer glow the test outer glow to bring you the options and that is where you can adjust the size the spread the opacity and the rest so once you add it you can click ok and you are good to go next off in between the hot fresh and delicious we are going to add an ellipse or basically a circle so you go and select your circle tool and then you hold shift to create a perfect small circle like that you make sure the foreground color or the color is white since i'm already using white i won't change it so you position it in between the hot and fresh Control J to make one more duplicate and then you can position that between the fresh and delicious. Next up, we are going to state the actual discount or the actual big sale that we are talking about. So we are going to make use of a paint splatter effect. I'll leave link to download the paint splatter effect also in the description. So what you're going to do here is that you're going to create a new layer on top of where you've got into and then you're going to select your brush tool. For your brush tool you're going to after you install the paint or the brush and i have a video on how to install brushes as well if you want to check it out after you've installed the brush that i will leave in the link you're going to right click on it and then you're not going to use these general brushes you're going to make use of this free painter photoshop brushes three and then inside of that you're going to choose number 36 so 36 for any one of them that you choose it is going to give you a different type of brush so we choose number 36 and notice something from here that the brush size is very bigger so you might not actually see it so after that you're going to decrease the brush size like that and from here you're going to make just one stroke so a stroke like this should be fine i actually forgot to tell you that for this particular test we are going to use a different font so we are going to use a font called the bookman old bold so this one right over here and then we are going to try to adjust it to fit the ellipse that we created and now we're back on track we are still going to make use of the bookmark old style font to type in the next test so our next test is going to say that get 20 percent off on all purchases we can replace it with your catchy i'm sorry i'm not a salesman so I can come up with a very nice catchy promotional kind of phrase okay so we are going to change the color to something that will make it visible because you realize that we are having a white painted um, brush over here so you can make it something like this and then you make sure that it is on top of this particular layer let's make it a bit reddish 
so let's come somewhere around here and we can click ok and then ok from here from there you press ctrl t and then you can transform it a little bit if this feels like it is too big for you as well you can press ctrl t and close it up also a little bit like that and this should be fine that means we can even select our valentines to the ellipse here ellipse one two and three and try to open it up because we have a bit of space over there i think this looks better okay so the next thing we are going to add is one of the most important things are uh, information or how people can order so to do that we're going to make use of a rounded rectangle we're going to create a rounded rectangle over here as small as it is something like that and then you can push it to this very side somewhere around here you remember the auto glow that we applied to this one we can hold alt and drag the same effect onto the rounded rectangle as simple as that right and then on top of the rounded rectangle we are going to type in order now so you transform it to fit into the rounded rectangle that you just created and underneath of that we are going to make one more duplicate of the order now and then we are going to change it to our information so perhaps your instagram or your social media your phone number whatever information that you want to put there since this is my pizza flyer i'm going to put my information over there so we are going to edit that into our information and then we can change the color to white so that it can be seen right there like that you can press ctrl t to transform it a little smaller because you are going to add the icons to it so we have a color icon and then we have an instagram or other social media icons that you want to use so the first one that i'm going to add is the color icon so i'll go to my file place embedded and then i'm going to add the color icon over here all of them will be linked up in the description so at this point you're going to transform it to fit the call number or the number that you typed over there like that and then black on red isn't an ideal thing so what we are going to do is we are going to right click and rasterize it right click again and then we can go to blending options and give it a color overlay so the, for the color overlay we are going to make use of white so you select the color white and click ok and then ok from here you do the same thing for the instagram handle as well so you go to file place embedded and you realize that i got the instagram original instagram handle plus the additional sign so you can copy any one of them or use any one of them but i think this one worked well for me because I want to keep all of them white and keep the harmony of the design so i'm going to right click on that and rasterize it i'll hold alt and drag this effect that is to drag the color overlay onto the instagram icon as well so once i have that i can drag it to this side and we are good to go now you can group all of these ones from the clip art or from the icons that we just brought in and the number in the social media you can group all of that and call it the social media or you group it so that you can easily center it like that and that means that the other now and then the rounded rectangle also can be grouped and be brought over here slightly like that if you have any other information you can just make space for it and then you put it over there now to make sure that this is centered i'm going to select the number that that is the group that i just did and up to the valentine here and i'm going to group it all into one and see what i'm going to do here so you're going to press ctrl a and make sure that it is aligned vertically so that it is going to be in the middle so you keep your work very aligned you understand so after that you can right click and ungroup the layers so that you have your individual layers our work looks pretty but it is time to spice it up with some elements the first element that we are going to bring in here is on top of this pizza we are going to apply some smoke and then some sparkles so go into your resource file the first one we are going to have is the smoke and i got this from png tree as well so i'm going to bring it in inside of photoshop and then i'm going to place it right on top of the pizza depending on how you want it you might want to readjust it slightly like that so at this point is going to be according to your own liking okay so how you want it and then we are going to right click and rasterize the layer you're going to add a layer max to it and then you're going to choose your brush too now remember that we already chose a brush that we used for this particular place you remember 
but this time you're not going to use that brush we're going to right click go back to our general and then we are going to use a very soft round brush this means that it is going to change the hardness to zero percent and then we can use it to brush the parts that we don't want off now after you're done go and select the layer or the layer thumbnail and then you are going to change the blend mode to either overlay or soft light i prefer the soft light because it works a bit softer and then i'm going to make one more duplicate so that it can be seen some more after this i'm going to add some sparkles to it so i'll go to file place embedded and then i'll scroll down and i'll see this splash it is actually splash not sparkle or is it my head top so i'm going to bring that also in and i'm going to position it right on top of the pizza so we open it up like that and this is going to be okay afterwards you're going to bring one more element to the valentine's Day. so we are going to bring in our love sign or our love symbol so it is right over here so you realize that for me to do this very simple i try to get as many png as possible this is basically going to make your work so easier so website like png3 are going to help you get some of these things and you don't have to spend a lot of time removing the backgrounds and doing all of those things so we are going to put that also there and we're going to rasterize it press ctrl l to activate the levels and try to level it down a little bit so that it looks a bit darker as compared to that reddish there the next thing we want to bring in is going to be that sliced pizza so i got some slices of pizza over here so i got two of them and i'm going to make use of this first one we're going to transform it down and you can position it somewhere around here and the last thing we are going to add to this is some leaves so we have these two leaves over here you bring all of them inside here and then you can transform it down rasterize the layer go to filter and then blur and then you can add some gaussian blur to it you don't have to make it like this actually so you are going to reduce your radius it has to be a bit blurry but not that blurry to the extent that we can't actually see it depends on how you want it but you can make duplicate and transform them smaller according to how you want it so something like that you can put one here and you can even bring one at the very bottom it depends on how you want it like i said earlier and lastly at the bottom we are going to add a website so if you have a website you can make a duplicate of this test bring it down and then you are going to put your website over there you guys can go and check out my website and here is a quick tip if you want to get all the resources that i use in almost all my videos they are all available on my website so you guys you can go and check my website out it's still in progress so i would appreciate your feedbacks as well so innocentcableartin.com you can check my website over there and yes just like that you create a very nice super good looking promo flyer for your valentine day sales so if you are into any other business other than pizza or food delivery or whatsoever you can actually replace all of these or you can actually replace this pizza here and you can put your product over there to make and keep this side because i think this side is very simple and straight to the point this is the only thing that is quite separating it so yeah i think you have a fair idea of how to create a very nice simple valentine's day big sale or valentine's day promotional flyer for yourself or for clients I hope this video was helpful don't forget that links to download everything that i used in this video will be in the description check it out and check out my website and check out the other flyers that i did on valentine's days as well thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye